All right, in the last video, we talked about why you should care about diatonic triads, and I mentioned how important they are for transposing songs, which is how you take a song from one key and put it into another key. And in this video, we're gonna take that concept and I'm gonna show you on the spreadsheet how it works, sort of the technical side of it. And it's really not that hard. It's just, in fact, when you look at the spreadsheet, it's gonna be a lot easier. So why don't we just get right to it? Here's the spreadsheet for you so you can see what it looks like when you transpose a song. In this video, we're gonna talk about transposing songs. What does transposing mean? It just means, well, a song is written in a particular key and I would like to play it in a different key. Let's say, you know, a song could be written in E major and I want to play it in D major, maybe because the original key is E major and that's too high for my voice, so I need to take it down a couple of half steps so that it fits my voice range better. So what we're going to do is let's just look up a song. I know a simple song, um, maybe you guys know it, Hey Soul Sister, and we're going to look up the chords. Um, all right, we're gonna look at the chords on Ultimate Guitar. There's a lot of different websites that have chords, by the way. Um, e Chords is a great website. In fact, let's check a look at this one instead. E Chords tends to be um, accurate. I really like looking up chord charts on E Chords because it has generally a higher degree of accuracy than other websites. All right, so here we are. Okay, looks like. Let's just take the first four chords of the song. We got E, we've got B, we've got C sharp minor and A. E B C sharp minor A. Okay. Let's go back here. Um, I happen to know that the song is in the key of E, and so we're gonna write them down. So the chords are E, B, C sharp minor, and A. Double check myself. E B C sharp minor A. There they are. Well, um, we're in the key of E, and I know that E is the one chord of the key of E. And I know that B is the five chord of the key of E. I know that C sharp minor is the six chord of the key of E. And I know that A is the four chord of the key of E. Okay. Um, and I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Instead of writing these letters out, I'm going to make them these simple formulas. So this B equals this B here. This C sharp minor equals this C sharp minor here. This A equals this A here. What that allows me to do is anytime I move this somewhere, it's going to um, be the same. It's gonna like it. So here's the four chord of, of E. When I move it up here, it's gonna give me the four chord of E flat major. Why is that so powerful? Because so here we are. I'm in the key of E major, and I'm like, wow, this song is really high for my voice. I don't want to play it here. Well, let me just take it down to D. The chord progression is one five six four. That's the major one. That's the major five. That's the minor six. That's the major four. Super common chord progression, by the way, in popular music. Oh my god. Um, this is actually the same exact chord progression as Don't Stop Believing. And this probably, if I pause and think for 25 seconds, I'll come up with uh, 10 more songs that uses chord progression, but I won't do that right now. All right, so I want to look at this chord progression in the key of D. What is this chord progression in the key of D? Well, the one chord in D is D. The five chord in D is... Whoops. A. Is that right? D is the one chord. A is the five chord. The sixth chord is B minor. Yep. And the set and the four chord is G. So there we go. I tried playing the song in E. It was too high for my voice. I took it down two half steps to the key of D, and the chords are D, A, B minor, G. Then I tried playing it, and I was like, damn, that song is still too high for my voice. I need to take it even further down. Let me take it down to C. Okay, well, the 1, 5, 6, 4 in C is C, G, A minor, F. It really is that simple. That's how you transpose any song. Or if I was like, you know what? Um, maybe I'm a girl, and my voice is really high, and 
the original key E is too low for me, so I'm going to take the same chord progression. I want to take it up to G major. Well, the 1, 5, 6, 4 progression in G major is G, D, E minor, and C. So I would play these chords instead of these chords, and I'm playing the exact same song. So, this video has been about transposing songs using this diatonic chord chart, and man, this is like your best friend as a musician, especially as a performing musician when you have to transpose songs to fit your voice. All right, so we looked up the song, Hey Soul Sister, and we learned that the chords were E, B, C sharp minor, and A, which we learned was a one, five, six, four progression in the key of E. And by now, I'm sure you're starting to um, <laughs> kind of get the sense that one, five, four, and occasionally minor six chords are incredibly popular in pop music. They've been in uh, a number of the songs that we've looked up. Okay, so we have a one, five, six, four progression in the key of E. And in the video, we transposed that to um, D and C and then also G. So I'm going to show you what that looks like on the piano. In the key of E, so we have E, here's my E major chord, here's my B major chord, C sharp minor, A major. So. And let's just look at the the, uh, the major scale of E. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. And so this is one, four, five, six. So the chord progression goes one, five, six, four. And now we're gonna take this down to E, or pardon me, down to D. This is the D major scale. And we have one, four, five, six in the key of D. And so the one, five, six, four progression would be D, A, B, G. And I know that because these chords are all diatonic to the key of D major, that the one chord is a major, the five chord is a major, the six chord is a minor, the four chord is a major. And so we have D major. major, that's the five, to the six, minor six, B minor, G major, that's the four, and then back to the one. Now another key, we're going to go to C major, so here's the C major scale, one, two, three, four, five, six. And so the one, five, six, four progression in C will be one, five, six, four. And we'll have a major chord, major chord, minor chord, major chord. So here it is in C. And now one more progression, <clears throat> we're going to transpose it to the key of G. So here we are, the key of G. And so we have a one, five, six, four in the key of G. And we have major, G major, D major, sixth chord of G is E minor. The four chord of G major is C major. And then back to G. And just because we're here, why don't we talk a little bit about the groove of that song. So if I were to play it like this, that wouldn't quite sound right because the groove isn't quite right. This groove has a little bit more of a, um, you could almost think of it as like a, a pop reggae kind of feel. And so it's very similar to Billionaire, which we already know. And so a really convenient way to play it would be just like we did for Billionaire, where what I'm doing is I'm playing one and, two and, three and, 
basically I'm playing the root note on the one, and then every and I'm playing the triad. So one and 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 two and 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 and. So try it like that and see how that feels. So we have now transposed the song into four different keys. And I think now you get it. This is an unbelievably powerful tool. Being able to transpose a song so that it fits your voice, it's one of the staples of any performing piano player. And if you're gonna host parties or if you're gonna do you know, any of your own piano playing and singing, then this is um, a really, really valuable skill.